So I got my start in treasure hunting back when I was a young kid growing up in Pennsylvania. And uh, started off by hunting and digging bottles, believe it or not. Old town dumps and stuff like that. Um, look for them surface finds. And uh, remember the first bottle I ever found was from uh, Dr. Hawk from Tower City, Pennsylvania. I still have that bottle. And uh, in the old days, people came out to the uh, rivers and went to the nearest river. And a lot of times that's where they dumped their, their trash and stuff in the rivers. People still do it today, which uh, reeks as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I am uh, always keep my eye out for bottles, and I do find some. And I see one here laying that looks pretty good. It's a paneled bottle. It's either going to be a great bottle, it's either going to be a good bottle, or I'm going to cry openly in front of all of you. So let's go over and see if it's good, great, and I'll probably cut out the crying part. So let's see. looks really 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 nice oh it's got a chip it's got a chip missing oh it's got writing on it it's a good bottle it's not a great bottle we're going to put it down as good i think it's an ancient master ink is what it's going to be but let's uh usually usually a master ink has a a, um, a spout on the pour spout on the uh, lip there but I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to this bottle it's still like I said it's not a great bottle but it's gonna be a good bottle Rumford Rumford Chemical Works make sure yeah Rumford Chemical Works there's a W up here. I'm not sure what the W. I think it's a W. Yeah, it looks like a W. Ah, oh, man. Except for that ding in the lip. I don't find a whole lot of old ones like this. They're even in this good of shape. Because the, they end up laying out here. But that's going to be a pretty, that's going to be a pretty, pretty aqua. We'll hold it up to the sun here and make it a little bit cleaner. Let you see exactly how beautiful this thing really is. And that color is just wonderful. If I'm doing good camera work here. All right, so still got a little bit of dirt in it, but you can see how how wonderful that patina is. Now oh, it's got a stick or something in it. Yeah, it's got a stick in it. I don't know how. I'll figure out how to get that out. Minus that little ding right there on the on the lip, which turns it in from being a a great bottle to a good bottle. But these paneled, this color, couldn't ask for much more. Except for maybe that lip not to be ding. But like I said, it's going to be either good, great. Or I'll cry, and this uh, bottle save me from having to cry in front of all of you. So I still got some walking to do here. I just got to this little particular section. I'm still finding stuff. There's bone here. There's like cannon bone, probably, probably from a bison, but more likely it could possibly be from an elk. But that's the kind of stuff I'm looking through. Um. We'll keep going. I just uh, passed my halfway point, so no footprints here. There were two two sections up there that had footprints, but none here since uh, probably about the last mile. So it's looking pretty good. Finds like this. I know I'm uh, I'm the first one out here or the first one looking. So all right. Once again, thanks for sticking with it. Appreciate it greatly. Scouts out.